kind of roadkill are you cooking in there? Well, considering the fact that you actually have to eat as a human, just wanted to give you a little taste of what your dinner's gonna look like. You don't cook, Elena doesn't cook. Who has time anyway with working kids, right? Mmm, Salisbury steak. Dig in, Damon. You're gonna need all that energy for these. I am. What's this? It's just the rest of your life. Paperwork? That's your big move? Let me ask you something. When was the last time you filled out paperwork of any kind? Taxes, health insurance, driver's license? Every idiot in the country does it. You think I'm in trouble with this? You will the first time you encounter some moron that you can't kill or compel. Maybe. Then I'll just come home and pop a beer from my beautiful stainless steel refrigerator. Which you won't be able to afford unless you have a job. And if you're about to say you can borrow money from me, you can't. Well, that's not very brotherly of you. Actually, it is. See, I won't know where you live. You'll have the cure running through your veins, and if I know where you are, then someone can use me to track you down, take the cure from you, and turn you into a 172-year-old corpse. What's the matter? I haven't thought that far ahead. See, eventually, word will spread, and you and Elena will have to move away. You'll have to isolate yourself. No friends, no family. This will be your life, Damon. This will be your hell. Well, that is where you were wrong, my brother. This will not be my life. This will be my life. See, Elena was pretty explicit about what she wanted. Now, this isn't Tribeca. New York's a little too crowded for me. But it is above a bar that I own next to a medical school. It's in the Northwest somewhere. I mean, I'd tell you where it was, but you made it abundantly clear you didn't want to know. Let me go check out upstairs. I'm on my third glass, so speak slowly. You know how you and I were both worried that he didn't think this through? He thought it through. <laughs> it's Damon. He didn't. He's ready to do this, Elena. He's got your perfect little life all planned out. I want the perfect human life with him too, Stefan. Trust me. But life isn't perfect. OK, look, you have a few more hours, so push him. Make him see that. <sighs> Hey, remember when you were pacing yourself? <laughs> I do. Right before I told my ex-boyfriend how to get my current boyfriend to give up hope for our relationship. What if I made a huge mistake by taking the cure? The only mistake you made was that last glass of champagne. I'm gonna go make some coffee before you spiral through the earth to China. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Joe? Okay. Joe! 